hey guys, bi-weekly it is, I guess. Uh, ooh, earthquake. Um, this is the first week uh, that my physical therapist has been off. And uh, so it's the first time I haven't gone to PT since January. Since January. I'll put that on screen. Um, make sure my light's going. Uh, so really, uh, I don't blame her at all. She's been working at least that long and not longer, if not longer. Uh, you know, seven, seven to eight months with no breaks, as far as I could tell. Uh, what we're really working on anymore is the scar, which looks tremendous in there. If you look at older videos, you can see how it uh, was a lot more angry and red generally. Although I think one of the problems is I always came from a session after they've been working to break it up with a tool that looks like this. Um, basically, it's just got little shapes for you to be able to grip it good, and it, you just go like over and over. You put a little bit of uh, cream or something so that you got a good surface to roll, and then you just roll and roll, and you, you break up all the scar tissue. Yeah, it really looks good. Um, the problem is I would have to do it like left-handed or whatever, so I'm going to have to see if I can get uh, the wife to uh, help me out with it, but we could do it every day instead of once a week. Uh, the idea being that uh, we're going to do some pronation stretches while we're doing this. Uh, the idea being from uh, my therapist saying maybe it's about time to call it. Uh, um, I have full mobility in the arm, which is actually rare. Uh, a lot of people, they're missing a few degrees of being able to go like that or that, up or out, uh, when they're done with their surgery, but I'm fully recovered there. And uh, my strength is good. I, uh, my, my endurance on strength isn't as good as it was, but um, I can still grab a 50 pound barbell and curl it like a few times. Um, I had a, a weird uh, instance earlier in the week where the long head tendon up here was really tight, uh, very painful. I couldn't really move it much for a day. I mean, I could move it. I, I, that was the only thing keeping me from like going to a doctor was like, well, I, I can move it. It just hurts. Uh, and it, it had already had some kind of aches and pains before. So I was like, let's give this a day. And then the next day I said, you know, it feels better, but it doesn't feel like perfect. And then you just, you know, it's just comment. You're like, oh, let's give it like one more day or something. And the interesting thing was uh, late that night, I was talking to Cray and he's like, are you going for a walk? You usually go for a walk. And I said, yeah, I don't really want to go for a walk because my arm hurts and I don't want to like swing it and have it hurt and stuff. But yeah, you're right. You know, like with his encouragement, I got up and went for a walk. And by the end of the walk, about two hours later, my arm felt like really good, like not perfect, but getting like way up there, like 85, 90%. I was like, that's odd. And I went to bed, you know, fingers crossed, like, holy crap, this is great. And I woke up and it was basically fine. Uh, so I can think about, um, probably one thing that happened is uh, we had gotten big back, big back into Diablo three for the week. And I think I was, uh, holding the controller and kind of like leaning and like posting up on an elbow on my couch uh, out of an idea that I would be able to protect the arm from any kind of weird. But what I ended up doing, I think, is like pinching it, like leaning on it for hours. And the reason I say that is um, I've had that experience before with like my feet or ankles. If uh, like I have a nervous like bounce my knee tick sometimes. So in order to stop it, I'll like either sit on my foot or like trap it under the leg of a chair like just kind of tuck it around the chair leg and if I do that for hours at work working on the computer uh, the next day the foot will like really hurt it's not like it, nothing it's not like anything wrong with it it just hurts and so I thought oh this is similar maybe I pinched instead of like sitting on the foot maybe I leaned on the arm uh, for hours and, and aggravated it so now I'm trying to be better like my physical therapist is trying to push on me anyway of like get your uh, uh, posture better you know sit with your shoulders back and sit up and sit right you know I, I don't think you're really supposed to lean on an elbow for like six hours grinding levels in Diablo or whatever uh, but that, that's that been fun we've been playing that a bunch lately and that's just a throwback game I had happened to pick up the uh, 
Necromancer pack and never played it, so I was enjoying that. Corpse Explosion, still a great spell. You know, it was a, one of the most fun, like, things in gaming. Um, well, I don't know, for me. It's very fun to just beat people up and blow up their corpse and blow up everybody around them. It's like, you know, very powerful in that kind of game. Uh, we also played a bunch of survival mode in Streets of Rage 4. Last night, we, like, marathoned it, leveling characters up. I think we got most every... Uh, Streets of Rage 4 character leveled up and a few of the other characters are also leveled up now. Uh, a little rough, uh, I don't know that they like intended it, but in co-op the XP is like split essentially. Like we're not getting much farther in the co-op and in fact we're uh, splitting the XP getting as far as we're going. It, it felt a little like, oh, I bet we could level up faster by ourselves, but it was fun to play together. Uh, almost should have just turned on the stream or something, you know, but we were we were chilling, we were celebrating, you know, like things getting back to somewhat normal, although things aren't going to be much normal for long, as it seems like it turns out, but well, we're having we're having good times there. Uh, probably going to get back in the swing of recording things pretty quick here. Uh, this is a very busy week. Uh, I've had a few IT gigs come up, and so it just, it's been hard. I, you know, I think it's the first, last week was the first time I didn't record a video for a week. I think ever uh maybe maybe i missed like one other week but it was it was just it's not like i didn't think about it either but it was like you know for a couple of days my arm hurt and then i had to go to like a, an it gig and all kinds of stuff so ah, you know uh, yeah we gotta get some more content up there guys uh figure out what's going on now, i'll talk to cray tonight see how he feels about doing some smaller recordings and stuff i don't think we need these huge marathons it's just fun to kind of do an experience you know uh, um things like that we have tons of ideas for stuff but uh just getting around to do it anymore is hard <laughs> all right guys uh like subscribe do all those things that really help out um, i'm doing okay so don't worry about me let me know how you're doing